Hello friends. In this video I will show you how to install the Smart AI firmware on your ESP32 board. You can download the latest firmware for ESP32 from my GitHub account. Next, you will need to download the ESP Flash download tool. You can download it from the official website of Espressive Systems. This tool is required to flash the Smart AI firmware onto the ESP32. Once you have downloaded the necessary files, extract them to a convenient location. Next, open the ESP Flash download tools. On the next screen, select ESP32 as the chip type and then click on the OK button. This will open the ESP Flash tools window. Here we will add the firmware files which we have downloaded before. So, navigate to the firmware folder. Here are the firmware files that you will need to flash on your ESP32. So, first just copy the location of this firmware folder. Then go to ESP Flash Download Tool. Here, browse the location for the first folder and then select the file inside. Next, you just copy the name of the first folder and then paste it into the first field of the Flash tool. The same way, you will need to add the remaining three files into the ESP Flash tool. So, let's quickly add the remaining files into the ESP Flash download tools. Next, you will need to set the SPI speed to 80 MHz, set the flash mode to DIO, then select the COM port for your ESP32, and then select the baud rate. Finally, Click on the Arrays button to remove the existing firmware from your ESP32. To start the erasing process, press and hold the boot button for 1 second, and the data will be deleted from your ESP32. Next, select all these files by clicking the check boxes next to each field. And then click on Start button to initiate the firmware download process. Remember to press and hold the boot button for one second to allow the firmware to download successfully. Once the download is finished, it will take approximately 10 to 15 seconds for the ESP32 to initialize. Keep an eye on the blue LED indicator. When it starts blinking twice per second, it indicates that the ESP32 is now ready for use and you can control it using Wi-Fi. In the next part of this video, we will discover the features of this firmware. Bye.